Hi guys, welcome or welcome back here at my YouTube channel. Um, I would like to thank you all for your continuing support and I'm very sorry if it's been a while since I last posted here on YouTube due to some workloads at school. But since the school year has ended and we are now on our vacation, let's start reading again. Enjoy listening! Episode 5, Eliminate Numbers from Your Life here are the criteria of the middle class in different countries. United Kingdom, according to Oxford University. Fair play, have your own opinion and principles. Don't be self-righteous, support the weak and confront the strong. Firmly handle injustice, complaint, and unlawfulness. France, according to the quality of life by President Georges Pompidou. Speak at least one foreign language and equip yourself with broader world experiences. Enjoy more than one sport and musical instrument. Create your own recipe and treat your guests. Join a social volunteer organization. Discipline someone else's children just like your own. South Korea, according to the survey found in the annual income portal webpage. 99 square meter apartment without liabilities, monthly income higher than 5 million won, 2,000 CC sedan, bank account with more than 1 billion won, several trips abroad every year. Compared to the criteria of UK and France, South Korea's criteria have one thing in common, numbers. One time, I was web surfing and found an online advertisement that said, Your marriage potential score. I thought it was a fortune telling site, but it turned out to be a dating agency. If you register your age, height, weight, assets, and net income, they will show your marriage potential score the way they rate beef. This must be a Korean style AlphaGo. We love rating everything with numbers and also take our ratings for granted. In this number-filled life, individuals struggle to gain more numbers to add to their resume, decide relationships according to apartment size, and read headlines which describe strikes or demonstrations by profit loss rather than conflict of values. This really is a life of numbers, where only prices are asked for and values are forgotten. Numbers are always easy to compare and rank. For example, it isn't possible to rank a triangle against a circle, but anyone can rank one against two. In fact, the life of numbers is endless comparison and ranking. In this life, we worry about our worth being graded low, so we constantly check our position and ranking. Can everything in our life be measured in numbers? IQ can't measure wisdom. The number of friends can prove the depth of their relationship. The size of one's apartment can guarantee a harmonious family relationship and net income can represent someone's personality. True value isn't measured in numbers. Therefore, if you want to be incomparable rather than superior, you should eliminate numbers from your life. What's truly important in our life lies beyond numbers. Thank you for listening and see you on the next episode. Bye.